All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to add a non-Steam game to your Steam library so you can make use of the Steam overlay when you're playing your game. So one of the lesser known features about Steam is you can manually add games to your account and to your library. This means that if you get a key from like a third party reseller that's for Steam, you can input it and you can also launch other games from other launchers through Steam so you can make use of all of its features. So the simple answer of how to do this is when you've got your library page open, down in the lower left hand corner, there's a little add game button. And there's three options here. You can browse the Steam store for games that you want to play. This is basically just going to the store. You can activate a key for a product that's on Steam that you got a key from somewhere. I, as a person who used to do a lot of game reviews, would use this feature a lot. Or you can add a non-Steam game. I'm going to go ahead and click on that option. And then here in our little pull down, you can see you can launch like any program you want through Steam and use the overlay. I could even do it through Photoshop and stuff. But that's not really what I want to do. Although it looks like I've I've managed to lag out Steam slightly as it loads all the software on my computer. But what I'm looking for is Genshin Impact. I think that would be a good example of something that we can illustrate here on the channel. So let's go down to G and then under G. Here it is Genshin Impact. We can click that in the list and then we can say add selected programs and then over here in the sidebar Genshin Impact will be loaded. Although because this is not an actual Steam game, you don't get the same artwork. All you get is down over here in the list. You get the little icon that it loaded from the actual software on your computer. Otherwise, you get a lot of options for how to manage it. You can browse local files. You can remove this from your library, hide this game, add a desktop shortcut. You can add it to favorites or a collection and all that jazz. But you don't get the same level of controls you would over, say, like a Steam game, like Deliver Us the Moon. If I select on these different uh, options, I have the option to browse local files, uninstall, I can actually go to the properties of the game and I can go through and set up controller settings. I can enable betas, browse local files and verify the integrity of the installed files on my computer to make sure there's no errors. So you don't get the same level of control, but if you want to see it in your library because you forget what games you have installed on your computer and it's easier to decide what you want to play today, then you can add it like that, click it and then play it. So that's how you add non-Steam games to your Steam library so you can play them and make use of your Steam overlay to like chat and do stuff while you're playing. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.